The Eurozone, officially called the Euro Area, is an economic and monetary union of 18 European Union member states that have adopted the Euro as their common currency and sole legal tender. The Eurozone consists of Austria, Belgium, Cyprus, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Luxembourg, Malta, the Netherlands, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Spain. Other EU states are obliged to join once they meet the criteria to do so. No state has left and there are no provisions to do so or to be expelled. Monaco, San Marino, the Vatican City and Andorra have formal agreements with the EU to use the euro as their official currency and issue their own coins. Other states, like Kosovo and Montenegro, have adopted the euro unilaterally, but these countries do not formally form part of the eurozone and do not have representation in the ECB or the Eurogroup. Monetary policy of the zone is the responsibility of the European Central Bank which is governed by a president and a board of the heads of national central banks. The principal task of the ECB is to keep inflation under control. Though there is no common representation, governance or fiscal policy for the currency union, some cooperation does take place through the Eurogroup, which makes political decisions regarding the Eurozone and the Euro. The Eurogroup is composed of the finance ministers of Eurozone states, but in emergencies, national leaders also form the Eurogroup. Since the financial crisis of 2007 a Euro 08, the Eurozone has established and used provisions for granting emergency loans to member states in return for the enactment of economic reforms. The Eurozone has also enacted some limited fiscal integration, for example in peer review of each other's national budgets. The issue is political and in a state of flux in terms of what further provisions will be agreed for Eurozone reform. Member States in 1998 11 member states of the European Union had met the Euro Convergence criteria, and the Eurozone came into existence with the official launch of the Euro on January 1, 1999. Greece qualified in 2000 and was admitted on January 1, 2001 before physical notes and coins were introduced on January 1, 2002 replacing all national currencies. Between 2007 and 2014, six new states succeeded. The 2012 data above of Eurozone states were published by World Bank in May 2014. Latvia was not in the Eurozone in 2012. Enlargement. Ten countries are EU members but do not use the Euro, though Lithuania is due to adopt the Euro from January 1, 2015. Before joining the Eurozone, a state must spend two years in the European exchange rate mechanism. As of 2014, the national central banks of Lithuania and Denmark participate in ERM2. Denmark and the United Kingdom obtained special opt-outs in the original Maastricht Treaty. Both countries are legally exempt from joining the Eurozone unless their governments decide otherwise either by parliamentary vote or referendum. Sweden gained a de facto opt-out by using a legal loophole. It is required to join the Eurozone as soon as it fulfills the convergence criteria which include being part of the ERM2 for two years. Joining ERM2 is voluntary. Sweden has so far decided not to join the ERM2. The 2008 financial crisis increased interest in Denmark and initially in Poland to join the Eurozone, and in Iceland to join the European Union, a precondition for adopting the Euro. However, by 2010 the debt crisis in the Eurozone caused interest from Poland and the Czech Republic to cool. Lithuania plans to adopt the euro in 2015. Non-member usage. The euro is also used in countries outside the EU. Three states a euro Monaco, San Marino, and Vatican City a euro have signed formal agreements with the EU to use the euro and issue their own coins. Nevertheless, they are not considered part of the eurozone by the ECB and do not have a seat in the ECB or euro group. Andorra's monetary agreement with the EU to use the euro came into force in April 2012 and would have permitted it to issue its own euro coins as early as July 1, 2013, provided that Andorra implemented relevant EU legislation. They were expected to issue their first coins on January 1, 2014. However, EU approval to begin minting the coins was delayed until December 2013, so the first Andorran coins were delayed.
with Minister of Culture Stephen Albert stating that he was optimistic they would be released by March or April 2014. Kosovo and Montenegro officially adopted the euro as their sole currency without an agreement and, therefore, have no issue in rights. These states are not considered part of the eurozone by the ECB. However, sometimes the term eurozone is applied to all territories that have adopted the euro as their sole currency. Further unilateral adoption of the euro, by both non-euro EU and non-EU members, is opposed by the ECB and EU. Expulsion and secession, although the eurozone is opening to all EU member states to join once they meet the criteria. The treaty is silent on the matter of states leaving the Eurozone, neither prohibiting nor permitting it. Likewise there is no provision for a state to be expelled from the Euro. Some, however, including the Dutch government, favour such a provision being created in the event that a heavily indebted state in the Eurozone refuses to comply with an EU economic reform policy. Jen Stammen has argued that even now EU law contains an implicit right for member states to leave the Eurozone if they no longer meet the criteria that they had to meet in order to join the Eurozone. The benefits of leaving the Euro would vary depending on the situation. If the country's own replacement currency was expected to devalue against the Euro, the state might experience a large-scale exodus of money, whereas if the currency were expected to appreciate then more money would flow into the economy. A rapidly appreciating currency would be detrimental to the country's exports. One problem is that leaving the euro cannot be achieved very quickly, banknotes must be printed for example. So during preparations, a lot of currency might leave the country, and people might be expected to withdraw euros in cash, causing a bank run. This would depend on the relative interest rates and depreciation rates. Administration and Representation the monetary policy of all countries in the Eurozone is managed by the European Central Bank and the Eurosystem which comprises the ECB and the central banks of the EU states who have joined the Eurozone. Countries outside the Eurozone are not represented in these institutions. Whereas all EU member states are part of the European system of central banks. Non-EU member states have no say in all three institutions, even those with monetary agreements such as Monaco. The ECB is entitled to authorize the design and printing of euro banknotes and the volume of euro coins minted, and its president is currently Mario Draghi. The Eurozone is represented politically by its finance ministers, known collectively as the Eurogroup, and is presided over by a president, currently Jiren Dijelblum. The finance ministers of the EU member states that use the euro meet a day before a meeting of the Economic and Financial Affairs Council of the Council of the European Union. The group is not in official council formation but when the full ECO Fin Council votes on matters only affecting the Eurozone, only Eurogroup members are permitted to vote on it. Since the global financial crisis of 2007 a Euro 08, the Eurogroup has met irregularly not as finance ministers, but as heads of state and government. It is in this forum, the Euro Summit, that many Eurozone reforms have been decided upon. In 2011, former French President Nicolas Sarkozy pushed for these summits to become regular and twice a year in order for it to be a true economic government. In April 2008 in Brussels, Juncker suggested that the Eurozone should be represented at the International Monetary Fund as a bloc, rather than each member state separately. It is absurd for those 15 countries not to agree to have a single representation at the IMF. It makes us look absolutely ridiculous. We are regarded as buffoons on the international scene. However Finance Commissioner Joker N. Armunia stated that before there is common representation, a common political agenda should be agreed upon. Economy, Comparison Table, a GDP in PPP Exports Imports of Goods and Services Excluding Intra-EU Trade Inflation, HICP figures from the ECB, taken from May of each year, interest rates, interest rates for the Eurozone, set by the ECB since 1999. Levels are in percentages per annum. Between to June 2000 and October 2008, the main refinancing operations were variable rate tenders, as opposed to fixed rate tenders. The figures indicated in the table from 2000 to 2008 refer to the minimum interest rate at which counterparties may place their bids. Public debt, 
The following table states the ratio of public debt to GDP in percent for Eurozone countries. The Euro convergence criterion is 60%. Fiscal policies. The primary means for fiscal coordination within the EU lies in the broad economic policy guidelines which are written for every member state, but with particular reference to the 17 current members of the Eurozone. These guidelines are not binding, but are intended to represent policy coordination among the EU member states, so as to take into account the linked structures of their economies. For their mutual assurance and stability of the currency, members of the Eurozone have to respect the Stability and Growth Pact, which sets agreed limits on deficits and national debt, with associated sanctions for deviation. The pact originally set a limit of 3% of GDP for the yearly deficit of all Eurozone member states, with fines for any state which exceeded this amount. In 2005, Portugal, Germany, and France had all exceeded this amount, but the Council of Ministers had not voted to fine those states. Subsequently, reforms were adopted to provide more flexibility and ensure that the deficit criteria took into account the economic conditions of the member states and additional factors. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development downgraded its economic forecasts on March 20, 2008 for the Eurozone for the first half of 2008. Europe does not have room to ease fiscal or monetary policy, the 30-nation group warned. For the Eurozone, the OECD now forecasts first-quarter GDP growth of just 0.5%, with no improvement in the second quarter which is expected to show just a 0.4% gain. The European Fiscal Compact is a proposal for a treaty about fiscal integration described in a decision adopted on December 9, 2011 by the European Council. The participants are the Eurozone member states and all other EU members except for the United Kingdom. Treaty text is still to be drafted and participation approvals from national parliaments are still to be granted. Bailout provisions the late 2000s financial crisis prompted a number of reforms in the Eurozone. One was a U-turn on the Eurozone's bailout policy that led to the creation of a specific fund to assist Eurozone states in trouble. The European Financial Stability Facility and the European Financial Stability Mechanism were created in 2010 to provide, alongside the International Monetary Fund, a system and fund to bail out members. However the EFSF and EFSM were temporary, small and lacked a basis in the EU treaties. Therefore, it was agreed in 2011 to establish a European stability mechanism which would be much larger, funded only by Eurozone states and would have a permanent treaty basis. As a result of that its creation involved agreeing an amendment to TEFU Article 136 allowing for the ESM and a new ESM treaty to detail how the ESM would operate. If both are successfully ratified according to schedule, the ESM would be operational by the time the EFSF EFSM expire in mid-2013. Peer review. Strong EU oversight in the fields of taxation and budgetary policy and the enforcement mechanisms that go with it have sometimes been described as potential infringements on the sovereignty of Eurozone member states however, in June 2010. A broad agreement was finally reached on a controversial proposal for member states to peer review each other's budgets prior to their presentation to national parliaments. Although showing the entire budget to each other was opposed by Germany, Sweden and the UK, each government would present to their peers and the Commission their estimates for growth, inflation, revenue and expenditure levels six months before they go to national parliaments. If a country was to run a deficit, they would have to justify it to the rest of the EU while countries with a debt more than 60% of GDP would face greater scrutiny. The plans would apply to all EU members, not just the Eurozone, and have to be approved by EU leaders along with proposals for states to face sanctions before they reach the 3% limit in the Stability and Growth Pact. Poland has criticized the idea of withholding regional funding for those who break the deficit limits, as that would only impact the poorer states. In June 2010 France agreed to back Germany's plan for suspending the voting rights of members who breach the rules. In March 2011 was initiated a new reform of the Stability and Growth Pact aiming at straightening the rules by adopting an automatic procedure for imposing of penalties in case of breaches of either the deficit or the debt rules. See also 
six-pack, special member state territories and the European Union, notes. References. External links, Eurozone official portal, European Central Bank, Central Bank Rates, ECB Key Rate, Chart and Data, European Commission a Euro Economic and Financial Affairs a Euro Eurozone, media related to Eurozone at Wikimedia Commons.